I'm Maggie Pax, and I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Microchips. Using our unique reservoir-based designs, our chips, and we use them for different applications. On the one hand, we use them to contain proteins or peptides, drugs that can't be developed, can't be delivered orally. They have to do by injection or by infusion. And we can create devices that can deliver a very precisely controlled pulse of a drug, exactly when you want it in exactly the right dose. Our reservoir chips are also being used in devices that can house chemical sensors. So if you need to know what's going on with a patient, whether it's a heart failure patient or somebody with diabetes, and you need to know chemically what's going on in their body, we can create devices, long-lived devices, that can tell you over maybe a year's worth of time what's going on with that patient, whether they're managing their condition well, or maybe they're entering a critical stage where they need to go see a doctor. The basis of our work comes out of MIT, we are a spin out out of Bob Langer's lab where our founder, John Santini, was really trying to think of ways that could make therapy just less of a hassle for people, that could make it easier for people, for people to get the drugs they need without having to go through a series of injections or to know what's going on with their glucose levels on a continuous basis without having to do a lot of finger pricks. Having a broad platform-based technology, we have the opportunity to exploit a number of different areas and really pursue exciting programs in more than one area. It's up to us to figure out how we can fund those with partners or with our own efforts so that we can create the most value for the company.